What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to spawn any weapon you want in your storage. Any item, actually. Not only will you be able to spawn them, you'll be able to customize the stats as well. So, first thing you want to do is start up PS2 as you normally would. Then you want to open Cheat Engine. It doesn't matter what order you open it in, as long as you have them both open. There it is. This is uh, version 5.6.1. I use this because I tend to run into a lot of problems with the other versions. Alright, so what you want to do is hit this little computer right here. And you're going to select PSU. And then hit open. Alright, so once you have the game selected, log in and go to your room. So the first thing I'm going to show you how to do is I'm going to show you to spawn a weapon by replacing another weapon. So uh, you can use any weapon. I'll use the Tamoy Rod. So then you need a weapon you're going to replace it with and I guess I'll use it with Sula Rod. So first thing you want to do is make sure your body is empty. I recommend that so you don't run into any problems and then just throw the weapon you're going to replace. Okay, so once you've done that, you need to find that weapon on the items list. So open the items list, you can find that in the description. And find the weapon you're using, which mine is a Tamoy Rod. So when you find it, you'll see these eight numbers next to it. This is the weapon ID, and it's pretty important. You're going to use these eight numbers to find the weapon in your storage. So go back to Cheat Engine, go to the value type drop down menu right here, and you're gonna go down to Array of Bytes. You're gonna type in eight zeros first, and I'll explain what these eight zeros mean in a minute. And with no spaces, type in the eight numbers that are next to the weapon you're using. So 01, 18, 05, 01 is for my Tomoy Rod. And then hit first scan. And you'll see this loading bar. <coughs> And you shouldn't get very many results at all. As you can see, I only got four. So right click the top one and hit browse this memory region. And then you'll see that this is what your storage looks like in the data. And you're gonna see all these Fs and zeros. As you can see, there's eight Fs right here. So anywhere you see these eight Fs is an open space in your inventory. Anywhere you see eight zeros right here, is a taken space. So as you can see you have eight zeros right here and then you have the weapon ID for the Tamoy Rod. This is the weapon I'm using. You should see your weapon ID right here. So to change that weapon all you have to do is find the weapon ID of the weapon you want to change it into. So I'll use a Wetsuda Rod right here and it's 010 01180903 and all you really have to do is go back to the memory viewer and type over that so 01180903 now when you look in your storage on PSU it will say with Sudorod but it doesn't have the stats of a Sudorod it still has the stats of a Tomoy Rod so we're going to change those into whatever stats we want so skip these first four bytes right here, these are all zeros, and you're going to go to the last four. These last four bytes right here are the PP values. So let's say you wanted to have 9,999 PP. So you'd go to these last two right here. These last two are the total amount of PP you can get. So I'll just type in OF27. And the first two are the total amount of PP you have. So I'll type in OB27 just to show you an example. As you can see, it has 9,995 out of 9,999. So if I wanted 9,999, I'd have to go back here and change this to OF27. And there it is. And in your bot, it should change. If you're using a weapon that uh, has full PP, then these four bytes right here should all be the same. So I'll just change that, or I'll just show you what that looks like right now. And there it is, full PP. 
All right, the next two bytes that you want to change are the attack, or in this case, the tech. All right, so you'll just be using these two bytes right here. So if I wanted 5,000 something tech, I could just type in OB13. And then look at it, and it, there it is, 5,496. All right, so now that that's done, the next one is the rank right here. So if you wanted S rank, just type in an O4, and it will be S rank. It already says S rank in here, but if you were to take it out, it would say B rank. So you don't really have to check that once you're done. So now you get to choose your rarity. I don't remember how many stars the Rasulawad has, so I'm just going to make this up. Uh, I'll put in 15 stars. And as you can see in that little key below, OE is 15 stars. In this video I recorded, I put 1 zero. And you'll see why that doesn't work. See there, it has 15 stars. The next part you get to change is the attributes. Um, now rods don't have attributes unless you have a spell, but I'll just do it to show you. So you can see it's neutral right now. I go back here and change it to 01 for fire, for example, and it'll be fire instead of neutral. Now if you didn't want that, uh, just go back to zero zero for neutral and uh, yeah anyway next part you need to change is the percentage and if you want 50% anything just type in 32 go back and look at it and it'll be 50% whatever and if you want it to be a hundred percent just double that and make it 64 and when you go back to look at PSU it'll be 100% just like that okay but because rods are 0 when they're neutral just I'll put that back in 0 0 alright the next part right here is the PA it takes uh, if you store a rod and replace it with another rod you shouldn't have to change this same goes for every other weapon if you're replacing one of the same kind, but if you're making a saber into a rod, then you will have to change that. So if you have a striking weapon, type in O01 right there. For bullets, type in O02, and for tech, type in O03. I'm not 100% sure on that part, so you might have to do some experimenting. Now I'm going to show you why this 1-0 that I have my mouse on right here did not work for the uh, stars. And I'll just show you what it came out to be. Uh, Alright, so here I take it out. And it's gone. If you put that 1-0, you will delete the weapon. So I'll just go quickly and type this back. So now that I'm done with that, I can just look at my storage, and there it is. So I'll take it out, and as you can see, it worked this time, and you can now equip it and whatnot. And uh, just to make sure, I'll store it back, put that one zero back in the same place it was, and it will disappear upon taking out of my storage. And voila, it's gone. Alright, now that I'm done, as you can see I have an empty storage, and now we can spawn armor.
Alright, so once you want to spawn the armor, all you need to do is find the armor you want to spawn on this huge list of items. Let's say you want to spawn a yield line. Alright, so make sure you know your item ID. Go back to your memory viewer, and you're going to type it in... Uh, you're going to type the star the same way you did the weapon, so just type eight zeros, and then type the item ID, or the armor ID, if you want to call it that. So, let's see, where's the yield line? So, 02, 01, 2300. And then when you look on your bot, there'll be a yield line. But it's not finished if you want to edit the percentage and element. Uh, so go back to your memory here if you want to do this. Uh, it should be the fifth one over to edit the element. And let's say you want 100% dark, which is what I chose. Just type in 0664. One right after the other. And there it is. 100% dark. And you might have made the mistake that I made. I didn't put a rank on it. So I'm just going to go back and do that. It's just the rank that you have to fix. The stars don't ever really matter when it comes to spawning things. So it's a rank, so just type in 04. It's third byte on the second row. And there we go. And I still can't use it. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I'll have more videos up. So yeah, I hope this tutorial helped you. If you have any questions, put them in the comments and I'll try to answer them the best I can. And next video, I'll show you how to change the appearance of your character and change the color of your name. So yeah, I'll see you guys later.